If you need an easy way to stay on top of your customers' orders, this video is for you. Hey there, and welcome to Promo Tech Tips. I'm Rich, and I'm a promo distributor, just like you. You've probably got tons of orders all over the country on the ground, waiting to be delivered to your customers. Tracking all those is a nightmare. There's storms, there's shipment exceptions, there's missed deliveries, there's incorrect zip codes. All kinds of stuff can go wrong. I use this handy tool to keep track of all that stuff. It's the Parcel app, and it's on the Mac App Store. Let's get into it. So you can see, this is a list of all the orders we have on the ground right now that haven't been delivered yet. Below that are the ones, of course, with a check mark that have been delivered. This first one's two days away. It'll be delivered Monday. This one here will be delivered on Tuesday, so on. Everything looks great right now. Things can change any minute, though. Thank you, FedEx. Yeah, he doesn't trust FedEx. Of course not. This one in particular, let's look at this. In the upper right corner here, you've got a little menu you can pull on three dots in a row. They call that a meatball menu, by the way, I think because there's three dots instead of three lines. Three lines is a hamburger menu. Didn't know that, did you? Uh, you can track on the website, it'll open on the, on the FedEx page, if that's the way it's going. Uh, find it on a map, which is kind of cool. It started, in Lexington, it started in Lexington, Kentucky. It wound up Greenwood, Indiana. Now it's in Zionville, Indiana. Pretty cool. And it's on its way to, well, this doesn't tell me where it's on its way to, so I have to go into the FedEx, oh, there it is. I have to go to the FedEx site to see where it's going to. You know what? I like FedEx, but I hate FedEx. It's kind of funny that way. Scheduled Monday by the end of the day. That's pretty quick. Shipped on Friday. Yeah, it was picked up yesterday at 4 o'clock. It's going to be delivered on Monday. From Kentucky to Carmel, Indiana. Pretty cool. Two boxes. Let me show you how to add one. Let me open up an email. See, here's an, here's an email I have that I need to add this to my tracking. So you open the email. Scroll down to where you have a reference number. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click on that to copy it. And then I'm going to go up here to the master tracking number up here. Now I'm not going to copy it. I'm just going to right click on it and pull down to services and say add to parcel. When you do that, a little window pops up that tracking number is in place and you can paste your description right there. And once you do that, it shows up here in the system. It's kind of cool. Actually, this one's amazing. This one's arriving early. Amazing how things work out. Uh, another cool thing they have is a web access thing. So if you have people in your organization that don't have this app, you can hand them this URL and have them log in or whatever. And they'd be able to see all your deliveries here as well. Let me refresh this real quick. It'll show you the one we just added. Right there. And you can go through and mark them off if you want to, but it's basically showing you the same thing that you see on, on the app. Another cool thing it has is an iPhone component. You can add deliveries to your system using your phone by either typing it in or pasting it in or taking a picture. And you can see everything on here is the same information as is on the, the desktop app. And it's on the website app. It's all part of the same system. Kind of cool. The best part, this thing is only $5 a year, $5. It's a no brainer. I'll tell you a little story though. A couple months ago, I did a similar video for an app called Deliveries. Deliveries, for some reason, quit working with FedEx. Could never get FedEx to work. That's why I went out and found this one. This could quit working at any time. It works now, but it may not work tomorrow. Just be aware of that. FedEx is flaky and they, they can screw something up. I'm sorry for deliveries, guys. I've been using deliveries for over 10 years. They can't get their shit to work with FedEx. I don't know why, but I had to move on. This is a business, yo. It's not personal. It's just business. But I do want to say FedEx sucks, and this can stop working at any time because it's FedEx. Do you have any tricks or tips for tracking orders? Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know that too. I'd be happy to help you. Now look over to the right. There's two more videos YouTube's going to show you. You can watch those. Or don't watch them. I'm not your mom.